Hey folks, winter time in the American Southwest can mean only one thing, dirt bikes. We just wrapped up our official review of American Honda's 2022 CRF 250RX. Now the 250RX is a relatively new off-road model in American Honda's Power Sports lineup. It was originally introduced for the 2019 model year. It is positioned alongside Honda CRF250R, which is a competition specification motocross racing bike. The 250RX is also a competition specification racing bike, but instead of motocross competition, it's designed for off-road racing, desert racing, GNCC, and works style competition. It's also a great fit for the weekend warrior who wants a fun and capable motorcycle that they can ride on the trails off-road and they can still bring to the motocross track on the weekend and go off jumps and have some fun. Now the 250RX effectively replaces American Honda's tried and true 250X which was retired a few years ago. This vehicle is a little bit more high spec compared to the 250X and it also doesn't benefit from a headlight inside the front number plate. Now for 2022, American Honda has given this 250RX platform a host of modifications that follow along the lines of the CRF250R. Let's begin with the engine. This engine continues to be powered by Honda's 249cc liquid-cooled dual overhead cam engine. It benefits from a four-valve cylinder head and now only one exhaust pipe. That's right, American Honda campaign the twin, twin pipe set up on its 450 and 250 for, for a long, long time. It claimed that it made for a bike that had improved balance. While we don't dispute that, it also made for a bike that's more expensive to replace two mufflers instead of one. Well, American Honda gets back to the basics with a more conventional one exhaust pipe that terminates on the right hand side of the bike. Looking at the header, it's much bigger in diameter than the previous twin pipe design. And oh boy, does it bark. That's the thing that you really notice about this 2022 CRF 250RX, how much more bark that engine has. The previous version certainly wasn't lazy, but this thing is, has a little bit more pep in its step. It also has noticeably more low and mid-range torque. I love torque. Torque does the heavy lifting when you're trying to climb steep grades, and this engine has it. I really like that you can just leave it in third gear and just lug the engine. If you need to climb something, you just hold the throttle wide and it lugs right up it. Now, power is put back to a DID 18 inch rear wheel through a chain final drive and a five speed gearbox. The chain benefits from O-rings inside of it so you don't have to lubricate the chain every time you ride, which is good for a lazy rider like me. Now, this 250RX is shod with Dunlop's Geomax AT81 specification tire. This tire is a little bit more gummy. It works in a wider range of conditions. The only caveat is because it's gummy, it wears out a little bit faster than the MX Geomax tire version. So not a bad thing, but just something to be aware of. Now, the thing I like about this 250RX is just how easy it is to ride. With a full 2.1 gallons of fuel, it weighs 238 pounds, a few pounds less than its predecessor. But to be fair, it also carries a little bit less fuel. It also doesn't have a titanium fuel tank like the CRF250R. It just has a plastic fuel tank. Now this bike's neat because it feels very light in motion. It's really good in the single track. It's really good in the fast desert. It is a very versatile bike that you can ride in basically any type of condition. You don't even go off jumps. The suspension is, while maybe not as stiffly sprung as the R, you'd be surprised how firm the suspension on this bike is. I weigh a little bit more than most at 200 pounds right now, so I actually like the way the suspension feels on this bike. It soaks up the rough stuff really well, and I like how you can tailor the damping 
of the fork and shock to your liking. Now, another neat thing about this 250RX is its adjustable power modes. So with the button on the left side handlebar, you can switch between maps. It has a standard map, which is the default setting. By pressing and holding the button and getting two flashes, that gives you a smoother map. So that is good for riding in slick, hard terrain, or if you're a rider who wants a little bit less abrupt throttle response, a little bit easier throttle response. Conversely, if you want a little bit more power hit, if you're riding in soft terrain or deep sand, you want the engine to have a little bit more pep in its step, press that button, get three flashes, and the power band will be a little bit more aggressive. It still pumps out the same amount of horsepower, right around 38 HPs at the business end of that Geo Max tire, but it'll just get you there a little bit quicker with a snappier throttle response. Overall, I like the standard setting. The standard setting worked really well for me. It still had a lot of juice, but it never wore me out. So that's what I would like to run. It's also neat, although we didn't do any actual races on this motorcycle, it comes with a whole shot assist programming. Again, it has three levels of adjustment. And what that does is it, it reduces the engine RPM ceiling. So when you're launching the motorcycle, instead of having to worry about keeping the engine RPM at a, at a certain threshold and releasing the clutch, you can literally hold the throttle pinned and only worry about using the clutch. It's very similar to the launch control that sport bikes were using a decade ago. There's three RPM ceiling increments, a low, medium, and high. Realistically, we like the low setting because that just keeps the engine from spinning too hard and you're not gonna prematurely wear out the clutch so fast because the engine is spooled down a little bit less. Very nice feature, a neat that American Honda is paying attention to the details. Other nice improvements that we like about this 250RX, of course, the new plastic hand guards. That's awesome. We love plastic hand guards. It keeps your mitts from getting beat up on the single track style trail. This bike also comes equipped with a skid plate and a kickstand. Yes, we love kickstands. It just makes parking the motorcycle and pulling along on side of the trail or even at the track that much easier. No bike stand to bring with you. It also makes it easier to lubricate the chain. Just put it on the kickstand, start the engine, and away you go. Now, in terms of durability, American Honda takes great pride in crafting these motorcycles in its headquarters in Japan. The air filter is now easier to access. It has a simple clip mechanism. You remove the left number plate and you can access that air filter. Super easy to swap. In terms of maintenance, American Honda recommends that you change the engine oil and filter every 15 hours. Oddly enough, they also recommend that you replace the piston and piston ring at that same 15 hour increment. A little strange. In our experience, you can get a lot more runtime out of this engine than 15 hours before doing a top. And it also recommends that you replace the drive chain, which is another kind of silly one, every seven and a half hours. In our experience, these chain drives work really good as long as you keep them clean, you keep them lubed, and you keep, keep them adjusted. You're certainly gonna get more than 7.5 hours out of life of this chain. Of course, this engine carries over a quart of oil, so you know that the engine's gonna have some fluid in it to lubricate it. It's nice to see that a little engine like this has so much engine oil capacity. Now, a couple of gripes about the 250RX. The gearing. Yes, it has a five-speed gearbox. Yes, first gear is mighty low enough to climb steep grades, but fifth gear is a little bit short. You'd be surprised how often you're riding this motorcycle in fifth gear and you're transferring between sections. You're really gonna have this engine spooling at high RPM. It would be nice if fifth gear was a little bit taller, or if American Honda could add a sixth gear without 
bumping up the MSRP too much. Aside from that, there's not a lot to not like about American Honda's 2022 CRF 250RX. It's an excellent bike. It looks awesome. The engine has a lot of power. It's easy to ride. The handling on this motorcycle is awesome. This thing tackles really technical single track and it also blitzes across whooped out fast desert terrain. It does the best of both worlds. You can even take it off jumps. The suspension and chassis as a whole is very versatile. And if there was one bike you had to have in your garage, only one, this 250RX would make a great argument for it. Well, folks, that wraps up today's review of, of Honda's 2022 CRF 250RX. Would we spend our hard-earned $8,500 on this motorcycle? Absolutely. It is a real performer. We love the fit and finish, and we love the build quality. It's nice to know that you bought, you purchased a quality motorcycle that's going to go the distance. Well, folks, as usual, make sure to surf on over to MotorcyclistOnline.com. That's where all of our content comes to life. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and thumbs it down if you didn't. Sound off in the comments section. What do you think of American Honda's 2022 CRF 250 RX? And as always, thanks for riding with us. We'll see you in the next episode.